dry ribs day. So just came back from the store and I got my favorite implement, which is the big, big cutting board that we got from Walford's. So, uh, you know, we've done a lot of ribs with uh, caribou, moose, briskets. But the problem with those types of meats is they're dry to begin with and nothing beats going to the store and spending $13 on uh, pig. Nothing beats pig. So, as you can see from Superfoods just down the road, we got pork side breast bone off ribs. Last time I used this was on a moose. There we have our lovely, lovely ribs. Let's take a look at both sides of those. We're going to make our rub. We're not terribly scientific about this. We use sugar, so we use a quarter cup of uh, brown sugar. And then this old King of the, King of the Q Cajun. I like to use a bunch of that. And just nothing too scientific. Maybe a tenth of a cup of that. I like uh, this Montreal steak, steak spice. Use a dollop of that. Get some heat in it. We use uh, chili powder. We're going to use a dollop of chili powder. Maybe a dollop and a half of chili powder. Pretty precise, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, some garlic powder. A dollop of garlic, garlic, garlic powder. I don't know if this is really a name, a dollop, but just whatever my hand kind of holds without overflowing. And uh, mustard, dried mustard. Two dollops of dried mustard. And then one of my very favorite things. Lemon pepper. This seems like a lot, but it all will fit in there, believe it or not. So next we'll rub. So here we have our beautiful rub. That's a sugar rub with all the stuff in it, a nice lovely color. The other thing we do is we use a little bit of this for some extra heat. And this is Blair's Death Rain, which is a, a special type of thing. And I don't want to touch it with my hands because uh, if you touch it with your hands, you're in big trouble. So I'll use this little piece here. We just brush that on, and that's to give a little bit of extra heat to the guy. And that fits right in there. And we'll bring her over and we'll brush the other side too. Put a little more of this on. A little dab of this will do you because this is the original. Death Rain. Blair's Death Rain, which is a, what is it, habanero pepper? Habanero pepper, not a jalapeno pepper. So that's original death sauce, and that's that's the real deal there. So that's very good. Gives you some, some heat, and you make sure you rub it, otherwise if you got dollops of that in the meat, you are going to definitely have one taste which will knock your head off. Any sun? Yeah. Now, you want to do the little one or the big one? Uh, I'll start with the little one. Okay, you go over here. And this is where we get our hands all dirty. Okay. And we just start with a bit of so the rub and we rub it in as much as the meat will hold. And this side won't hold as much as the other side. And we're very liberal with this. A lot of this stuff on here. Much as the meat will hold, so and it'll hold a surprising amount. And make sure we get it into the into the edges too. Make sure we're getting it into the edges. The moisture of the meat will hold this the rub, and the rub will keep the meat from drying out too much when we, we cook it. And what we're going to do, and the reason I like using pork instead of uh, caribou or moose, is that the caribou or moose are already so dry that when you slow cook them, 
they become almost like crunchy, like a cracker. Where these guys are beautifully moist. Okay, we're about an hour and 45 minutes in. Uh, our temperature's around 280, which is a little high, but not bad. And you can see we're starting to get to a little bit of nice action here. These will shrink down quite a bit from uh, where they were. Our little gripping plate saved us quite a bit of mess. And uh, take a look. Mmm, that's tasty. Well, there you have it, Jane. Excellent. So here we have our, our ribs. Potatoes and onions and some garlic bread. So, just to take a look at these ribs, look how tender that is. It just slices right through. And there they are, perfectly done. All right, now all we have to do is eat. So, how are the ribs there, Sunny? Meats? Really, really good. All right, there we go.